There's no TV, no radio, no magazines to read. What do you suggest we do to pass the time? Well, I could tell you how I've handled men in my past who have tried to take advantage of cozy situations. And how was that? Well, let's just say that most of them have ended up in the hospital. Oh. Well, I'm going to be safe from that one because all of my intentions are honorable, every last one. Ah. Although, we could be a little bit warmer, you know, I scoot over some. That way it won't get cold in tonight. I think maybe we'd get a little too warm. Excuse me. Where are you going? Come on, hey. I'm going to go make a border. A border? Yeah. What border? Mexican, Canadian, I really don't care. Oh. Move over to that side. Your side. Observe. Voila. A border. Your side, my side. You need a passport to cross over. How do I get one? You don't. Good. I don't want one anyway. It seems like a damn fascist country to me. Mm-hmm. Getting a little warm in here, are you? No, I just don't want to look like I slept in my clothes. That's okay with you? What happened to your arm? My God, that is a nasty scar. I got it from a nasty dude. Really? Well, how? Tell me. No big story. I was uh, hanging out with a bunch of kids. I used to run with this wild group of kids and um, got in a fight one night and this nasty guy pulled out a nasty little knife and carved me up. Well, you really went looking for trouble, didn't you? could say that. Why? Why? You're a nosy broad, aren't you? Hey, kids who go looking for trouble are usually troubled kids. I wasn't a troubled kid. I was wild, okay? I didn't know where to channel my energy. I was always had to be on the go. What am I, what am I talking about me for? We're supposed to be talking about you on my side. Remember that? I'm supposed to find out something about Megan Gordon. Yeah, well, I'm kind of tired. It's very relaxing here. I think I'll just go to sleep. Hey, you just jerked the blanket off of me. Well, I'm sorry, but you should know that this blanket is not going to be big enough for the two of us. And I'm sorry to tell you that I'm going to be a temperamental actress all night long and demand to be warm the whole time. And I'm cold. And what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to freeze? Okay. If I let you over this border, mm -hmm. do you promise to behave yourself? You know, I got something to worry about here, too. I mean, you could attack me during the night. Finish time. Good. Good. See, that's not so bad. All right, you behave. I will. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God! <laughs> you have just been invaded by a neighboring country, but a friendly country. Very friendly. Oh, yeah. Going on, you lying scum. Well, what's with all the name calling, Megan? This is what it's all about. What is it? It's a distributor cap. Very good. I didn't think you knew about distributor caps. Oh, yeah, and I bet you counted on that, didn't you? Well, I know enough to know that if that's not in a car, it's not going to start. And that's what you were planning last night, isn't it? Megan, no, no, that's no, not no, the way no, that. no, no, no. Just save your breath, okay? I don't even want to hear it. What? Another story of yours? I mean, what did you think? Another scoop? Is that what you wanted? My night with Megan Gordon? No, I swear. Oh, just no, no, no. Say your breath. I don't even want to hear it. Just no, forget it. Just listen to me. I did do it, okay? Oh. But it's, it now we're going to get the truth? It wasn't planned. When I went back to the Jeep to check the time, I saw you on the beach. You looked so happy. You looked so relaxed. I just thought you needed a break. A little rest and relaxation, that's all. Is that so bad? What is bad, Jake, is that every time you open your mouth, a lie comes out. I can't trust you. Just answer me a few questions, okay? One, did you or did you not have a great time last night? Didn't we laugh? Yes, so? And didn't you fall asleep in my arms like a little baby? I, I don't remember. It's because you were asleep. Well, wasn't it great to get away from Landview and your father and the campaign and all that weird stuff? Come on. Admit it, it was, wasn't it? Look, even if I said yes to all that, it does not excuse the fact that you lied to me again. What do you want me to do? Say I'm a bad boy? Okay, you got it. I'm a bad boy. I'm a very, very bad boy. 
I thought you liked bad boys. I don't like liars. Well, you're not Miss Perfect yourself, are you? Me? What did I do? Good girls don't rifle through guys' pockets while they're asleep. Look, I looked in your pocket to try and find the key to start the Jeep again, and then I found out why it didn't start. Is that all you found? No, actually, I also found your wallet. Oh, my wallet? Yes, because I wanted to see if your name was actually Jake Webb. Of course, I didn't find any ID, but I did find this little photo here. Tell me, Jake, who is this little girl? Is she your kid? <sighs> Wait a minute. So I'm married and I have a kid and I left her behind, so what? Just kidding. This is my little sister. Oh, yeah, and how am I supposed to know that's true? Just look how old it is. So what's her name? Why do you even have to think? Because at the time the picture was taken, I used to call her Curly, all right? Just look at it. You can see why. Her real name is Andrea. She's named after my great-grandmother. Oh, aren't we making breakthroughs? The man now admits that he not only has a sister, he admits that he has a great-grandmother as well, if he's telling the truth. Oh, what a lie. There's no mileage in it. So, tell me about your sister and your parents. <clears throat> Philadelphia, is it? Megan, this is all too hard to do before coffee. I realize that, but we're not going anywhere until you give me an answer. And will this get me off the hook? Depends on how good your story is. It's not very interesting. My father got another woman pregnant while he was married to my mother. And my mother found out, and she left him, and me. Well, why you? I don't know. I guess my dad didn't want her to take me with. Well, would you have gone with her? I don't know. She had kind of a bad temper. He never knew what was going to set her up. As soon as he thought she had a handle on it, she changed. But she was still my mother, nonetheless. Well, did you ever see her again? Oh, I'm sorry, that must have been tough. The funny thing was, uh, the woman that my dad got pregnant, she was married too. And she had a husband and kids who she left also. Well, what about your sister? Same father, second wife. She was the bun that was in the oven when the first family split. I used to hate her guts. I blamed her for my mother never coming back. Well, and now? Now? Well, now she's not. Got used to her. She's great, I think. You know. She's all grown up. Fantastic. So you see her a lot? Megan. I don't see anybody a lot. Well, I wasn't raised by my natural mother, either. Can Vicki Buchanan? Yeah, I, I found out a little over a year ago that she was my real mom. I was raised by my stepmother. I thought she was my mother. And when I found out that that was true, I... Well, I guess I want what every kid from a broken home wants. I'd like to have my parents together and have them stay together. I don't know, I think they, I think they belong together. How do you know that? I mean, how do you know when somebody belongs with somebody else? I don't know, I guess you just feel it. What does it feel like? What do you think it feels like? Does it feel like your heart's pounding too fast? Like your knees are getting weak? Does it feel like that? Like, if you don't get to see her face again, you might die. If you don't get to touch her hair. Well, I, um, whatever, it's, it's obviously a big risk. I mean, I think that one day what you call love could end up being indigestion the next day, right? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I should, I should probably get back to you on a day and a half late. Yeah.